This video cover the thing about the analog and digital transmission into the computer network. First is the analog signaling into the computer network. Normally analog signaling it is in the continuous form. We are speaking uh, 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 in our day to day life that is called as the analog signaling. It is uh, in the range of this some specific interval uh, start from zero and there is a something upper high limit is fixed. So it is in the continuous form which we are speaking it is the indication of the analog continuous mode. Uh, some of the example what we speak in our day to day life radio and the television transmission are example of the analog data and analog signaling. Any value it can generate the any value into the its range from 0 to the max. So this is the analog signaling what we are speaking etc. Digital signal digital signal having the discrete set of values maybe 0 and 1. So one is represent high volt and zero is represent by low volt that is called as the digital signal. Introduction to the transmission analog transmission what we are speaking in our day to day life that is in the form of continuous different tones sent at the time it can take any values between the two different points. Digital transmission digital transmission means uh, whatever the uh, computer format file available in our computer are in the form of the digital data and if it is uh, uh, transmit using the digital signal then it is referred to as the digital transmission the file which is stored in our computer that is in the form uh, of the characters or the some words or characters are written in it and each and every individual character has its own unique ascii value it is converted into its unique binary value and again the binary value it is in the form of one and zero and these one ones and zeros are sent over the network Analog transmission. Our day to day activities are belonging to the analog in the nature. Most of the activities are in this group uh, and analog transmission using the digital transmission is possible and this is the example of it. Internet call and what we are doing for the video conferencing are example of the analog transmission means analog data are transmitted using the digital signal. How this is possible? See this uh, in example. This is the sender talking on a uh, using the phone. So the analog data is transferred. Uh, you, uh, further and there is a some device like codec which convert the data into the uh, analog data into the digital data and vice versa so the analog data is input by the user uh, codec is the device which convert the analog data into the uh, digital data and the digital data so this uh, analog data convert into the digital data you are uh, using the codec so that is the digital transmit uh, tra signaling and it transmit over a large uh, distance after at the receiver side there is again a type of device codec which convert the digital da uh, data into its equivalent the analog waveform so this digital data is converted using the uh, into the analog using the codec and again the thing is uh, uh, received by the receiver in the correct form. So those are the example of it. Analog transmission using analog signaling is also possible. Some of the example is television and radio bro um, broadcasting are example of the analog transmission using the analog signaling. Analog data transmitted using the analog uh, signaling. This one is the example of it. Digital transmission. Digital transmission means digital data are transmitted using the digital uh, transmission. Uh, digital data in the form of 1 and 0 as we discussed. Uh, a file transfer from one computer to the another computer. Files are stored into the uh, into the 1s and 0. And if they were transported using, uh, using the digital transmission, then we can set it uh, as the digital transmission. It has the district set of values. Some of the example file transfer between two machines is the example of the digital transmission accessing the network using the modem over a dial up uh, connection uh, make sure the modem is the analog device suppose this is the computer system at the receiver side this one is the computer system whatever the data transfer from the sender computer to the receiver computer are stored into the uh, in digital data so when sender sends some data that is in the form of digital modem is the analog device which convert the digital data into the analog signaling and transport the data uh, to the receiver again there is a modem at the receiver side which convert the digital data into uh, the analog uh, data and again transfer the uh, analog data into the digital data and store at the receiver side
this uh, this is the another example this is the computer the digital signaling is used uh, digital data are transferred uh, into the analog signal using the modem and again it transferred uh, into over the internet and uh, receiver side modem which convert the analog signal data into the digital signal and store the digital data into the client computer thank you